And tonight, close to 600 people gathered at Old Dominion University to hear from former U.S. National Security Advisor Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster. He served in that role from 2017 to 2018 while an active Lieutenant General in the U.S. Army. His lecture tonight on empathy and international relations comes as the Israel-Hamas war continues to rage. Sarah Hammond was there and is in the studio now to tell us what McMaster had to say about that growing conflict. Well, we're six days into the Israel-Hamas war, and so far 2,800 people have died, and about 423,000 have been displaced in Gaza. And Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster spoke to the crowd tonight of the atrocities and how he thinks the next days and weeks of this war will go. A room of about 600 people cheered as Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster took the stage at Old Dominion University. While he was there to give a lecture on empathy in international relations, the Israel-Hamas war was something on everyone's mind. We have seen incredible brutality uh, and, and, and inhumanity uh, in, in Israel as, as Hamas conducted these heinous attacks against innocents. He says looking at history, what we're seeing Hamas do is nothing new. Hamas equals ISIS equals Al-Qaeda. They use ignorance to foment hatred and they use that hatred to justify violence against innocents. When asked how we have a, quote, responsible end to this war, when Hamas, it seems, is aiming for annihilation, McMaster said it seems the goal of the Israeli Defense Forces is to destroy the organization. I think it would entail, first of all, trying to evacuate civilians out of Gaza. He says that way Israel can attack with fewer restrictions and take key points of the city. McMaster says looking long term, there has to be a major diplomatic effort to create an international peacekeeping organization. But you're going to need what is viewed as a neutral force there uh, to, to, that, that, will, that will not allow uh, Hamas to morph into something out of Palestinian Islamic Jihad or any other Iranian, uh, Iranian uh, force. McMaster also predicts this could be a sustained campaign over many years. As for how the U.S. might get involved, he says if this turns into a multi-front war, that would likely come in the form of surveillance and strike capabilities. Back to you.